Hi, my name is Joyanto and you are watching Physics in my way. So I was a PhD scholar at IIT Madras and I left at the end of fourth year. But I'm sure this is not will be the story for everyone. And if you want to really want to know my story, then uh, you can watch the video by clicking on the I button. See, first of all, these days I have seen many videos about the negative effects, the negative pressures of PhD. PhD is a trap in India. As PhD trap, you should not join PhD. But uh, let me tell you precisely what are the advantage uh, that a PhD degree can give you. See, in one of my videos, though I have tell you about the job prospect uh, that you become an assistant professor, but there is uh, much more beyond that. See, PhD is not a trap, first of all. It is just that PhD tests the mental ability of a candidate. And at the end of your PhD tenure, you will learn to interact with many people. You will have the public speaking power. And if you have worked on specially experimental uh, physics or experimental material science, then you will realize that you are capable of handling many sophisticated instruments. And those experience will uh, help you in your future requirements apart from your assistant professor C. Well. See, above all, you will be expert in your own field. And uh, the field that you have loved from your bachelor days and you will join in some profession that you have already command on so that is the good thing and once you become assistant professor or senior scientist or some scientist position then you realize this positions uh, does not just give you the academic freedom but you would be your own boss nobody is not gonna asking you when are you are coming to the lab or when are you are leaving the lab obviously you have to answer to your higher authorities but but mostly it is a job that you set up your own lab and you are the boss or you are the principal in investigator of that particular lab and above all you will also get a chance to motivate the young minds to contribute in the science and technology for the development of the uh, nation's future and remember you will be the top one person in your academia so you learn to cherish your dream and remember you have chosen a path that many people have not that's make you a unique candidate and i understand the situation for every phd scholar differs and this situation may probably will not arrive, arrive especially the personal things that i have shared in my story you should analyze yourself you should analyze your mental capabilities your financial struggle your medical condition then you should go for phd above all if you have the family support till your end, I'm telling you, your PhD ten, uh, tenure or PhD journey will not be jerky. If your parents are supportive and they are telling you, do whatever you want to be in your life, you do go abroad, do your postdoc, take your time, and then you come to academia, then to me, there will not be a problem. So family support is a very important thing that should be there first of all. See make yourself so much skillful in your phd tenure whether you are taking more than your five years that is fine but if you are focusing building your skill that will be very helpful for your future and during your phd tenure you should not look for job opportunities see job opportunities eventually will come first you complete your doctorate degree then if you have hurry or if you want to get immediate some position you can see what are the vacancies that are available throughout the institution also it is not that it is it is just the government organization you can also apply some prestigious private in institution as well and they do really offer very good salary nowadays see it is very much true and i agree and i have uh, gone through some of the comment section of my earlier videos that even if you do psg the a number of vacancies compared to the number of PhD candidates is very low. See, that is true for everywhere. If you went for a CGL, if you went for UPSC, you see the number of vacancies and the number of candidates are applying for that. But having a PhD and applying in your own field, the job market is actually focused and so much focused that the competition is among your group itself, among your competitor itself. And if you are commanding in your subject, then I don't think that you will uh, uh, struggle in future to get a position. So those are vacancies will be less, but uh, if you are 
if you have command in your subject and if you have uh, really worked hard in your phd days you have good publications and above all you have research interest you, you have uh, teaching abilities then surely somewhere you will be absorbed apart from assistant professorship there are many other jobs that i'll be talking about in uh, one of my future videos where also i will tell you what kind of experience certificate that you need for those kind of jobs for examples you can apply for junior scientific officer scientific officer or a senior scientist in csir lab this scientific officer not only comes in various institutes or research organization but also government of india to upsc ora portal they recruit this kind of position as well and for that they required a one year of experience certificate and most importantly if you are already doing your phd do try to avoid people who are who are really demotivating you and maybe it is your lab seniors or maybe other person or the person who is socially related or connected to your family that you are studying when you will be settled just shut, shut them up because you know that uh, it is a long journey and you it need to be motivated and if there is any kind of pressure be cool and you should be proud of that already you have cleared so many national examination that only you have get these positions so finish your phd as early as possible but with a ample amount of uh, uh, publications which are in high impact field journal or uh, sometimes people actually do get a phd degree without any paper and that could be a uh, uh, i mean not a good situation for them they will realize later because uh, they will face difficulty in getting a postdoc or they will get difficulty in getting a uh, assistant professor in uh, professor sip in various institutions so don't get a phd degree without publishing a paper at all at least you have to have two good uh, journal papers especially i uh, can tell about the people who are working in the field of uh, theoretical part if they are really good in programming then they, they can also find a job in industry let's say people are working in a computational molecular physics then they can also uh, work in industries as well but especially people who are uh, working in the experimental field to my mind and to my experience they can explore more opportunities compared to the people who are working in theory because most of these scientific officer jobs they actually ask that you have to have some experience of handling sophisticated instruments like scanning electron microscope raman spectrometer or x-ray diffraction so these are the basic things that those skill you should develop in your phd days so one big question that comes to many phd scholar mind that should you get married uh, in between your phd program so this question i leave it to you guys you analyze your situation you analyze your financial condition then you can take the decision and i don't think there is nothing wrong in getting married and especially if your uh, future partner is also a research scholar then he or she understand the situation better i mean there will be many family issues you have to answer them and you have to properly tell that see phd is a degree that takes time actually you have to work hard and finally you will be settled say at the age of 32 or 33 years or more so that but above all if you do phd also you need to uh, keep uh, remind one thing that there are some certain age limitations for certain jobs for example there are inspire faculties you need to be 32 years old and then only you can apply so you have to finish your phd before 32 32 years for assistant professor uh, in various nits or iits in grade 2 category you have to have age within 35 years of age so it's not a good idea to extend your phd tenure try to finish it within 6 and 6.5 years okay, one more suggestion from my experience i can tell you that try to save money uh, from whatever stipend you are getting at least uh, some amount of money so that if there is also a gap uh, in getting a degree and your funding is finished still you can sustain yourself and also you will find that after uh, finishing your degree also and getting a postdoc if there, there are gaps or even if you get some phd you uh, get some postdoc offer initially you have to uh, have struggle if you don't have the financial support so that is why uh, saving money is important and these many just people complain about uh, guide and scholar issues see to my mind there will be always pressure in phd and if if a supervisor is 
giving pressure on you especially for your research work take it as a good vibe because remember that he or she is actually focusing that so that you can finish your degree as early as possible but there may be like some situation that will not be in your favorable but you have to tolerate all those things you need to have a certain good relationship with your supervisor because above all if you finish your phd program then uh, he or she will be the one who will uh, give you the recommendation letter and which will be very helpful uh, in your future and i think uh, a little pat from your guide if you do some good work really boost the confidence of a phd scholar and motivate him or her to go deep into their research and uh, they neither worry about their upcoming future or what they will do so, so that is a very much important and for engineering background students i think most of the people after doing btech they get a placement or they get a job so they have certain age or certain advantage over a people doing in a phd in science because the competition will be less compared to the basic science who are working one i also suggest that even uh, if you are doing phd uh, do spend some time to practice your old uh, old studies that you have done your bsc or msc because after all just after phd if you want to uh, apply for assistant professorship then you have to qualify exam which is of a gate or net level so if uh, all these things are satisfied and uh, in uh, in msc also you can analyze your days if you are starting in msc and uh, you are uh, want to you want to do phd in future then I think it is the best time that before joining PhD, you analyze your situation properly, then take that situation because there is no way back or there will be difficulty to get back to other branch or in job market once you go into the PhD program. So I suggest all the PhD scholars who are going through their PhD tenure, maybe there are some hurdles, there are hardships, I understand but you need to keep patience and above all you need to have the perseverance to finish your degree so i hope uh, you have got some insights from this video and uh, in my very next video i'll be talking about uh, the type of experience certificate the type of instruments handling experience you need for applying in scientific officer technical officer or senior scientist position uh, in technical job in some various research organizations that's it for today i hope you are benefited from this video please do like the video uh, so that it uh, motivates me to make many more videos like this so stay tuned for my next video bye